What's good, well builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we're talking about this topic Does going out to eat make you poor? So let's go. Now, tune into the greatest. Okay, so real quick, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Because we talk about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's get to the topic on hand. Does eating out make you poor? Okay, so a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, you know, bring their lunch every day. And, you know, a lot of people scrimp and, 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 and save and make sure they... You know, uh, bring that sandwich for their lunch and don't eat out for dinner and things like that. And then they put that money into a savings account and all that good stuff. Or they don't do that at all. Okay, so that, that is the number one problem, right? That's the number one problem right there. They don't save the money from them actually not going out to eat and then furthermore they don't invest the money that they've saved if they save the money at all okay nine times of ten they don't even know how much money they they've spent on going out to eat in general or eating fast food in general, okay? Your number one thing is, if you're looking to save money, number one thing you gotta know, especially if you wanna change your habit, you gotta know what the habit is and how much you're, you're spending, okay? So you gotta do some numbers. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta crunch the numbers. You gotta be like, all right, well, I spend $10 a day on average for lunch, okay? And then I spend, um, maybe $20 or $30 a week eating out on average. So if you do the average, that's $50 a week, right? So that's $10 a day, so that's $50 a week for five days. And if you do low ball $20 a week or maybe like fast food on Saturday or something like that, that's 70 bucks gone. $70 right there out of your weekly check or bi-weekly check gone spent on food now obviously you got to feed yourself you know what I'm saying but what if you could just cut that in half you know what I'm saying what if you take just $35 a week on outside food okay but then also what you're going to have to do is take the other $35 that you that you didn't that you don't spend on food anymore and you need to invest it in something and it doesn't even have to be a big or big or large investment okay you can easily go ahead and take that money and invest it in maybe uh, start a website or join a marketing business or, or buy partial stocks every week. Spend 30 to $35 on, on buying stocks through Stash App. There'll be a link in the description for that, okay? Um, you, could, you, can, you could actually create passive income with that $35, $40 a week that you, you otherwise wouldn't have if you didn't realize that you were spending it on lunch, okay? And the fact that you're creating passive income, now you're creating more income for yourself and now you're creating freedom for yourself because you are building a substantial amount of income without having to go to work every day for that income. Do your passive income, do your websites, do your, do your stocks, do you know what I'm saying? Um, 
what else? Peer to peer lending. You can you can start peer to peer lending for twenty five dollars. You can invest in a peer to peer loan for twenty five bucks. Okay, you can do a lot with thirty five dollars per week. Okay, if you weren't aware, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So yeah, you can actually build a nice side income that you otherwise wouldn't do if you were spending it on lunch. But you have to know that, okay? You have to look at it, okay, boom. I go to I would go to lunch every day and I spent I just spent ten dollars a day. So now I pull that back and now I only spend maybe twice a week I go out to lunch and the rest of the week I bring my lunch. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't go out to lunch at all. Maybe you scale it back all the way and you just spend $20, 10 to $20 at the, at the grocery store, make your lunch for the week, okay? And then now you have even more. Maybe you can scale it down, scale it back to $50 per week and take that $50 and invest it, okay? Instead of, instead of saving it or spending it on some type of trinket or trying to buy the newest iPhone or the newest Apple Watch or, you know what I'm saying, or um, headsets or things like that. How about you just take that money, like I said, and start something, okay? Start your own website. You can start an automated website. You can start a, um, I have my own news automated website. I brings me in a nice good income about a hundred to two hundred dollars per month just off the ads itself okay and all you got to do is maybe invest a little bit of advertising money into the site and boom you start to gain passive income and not have to worry about where and then after a while you, you, you don't even have to worry about going out to eat or <laughs> spending your money on food because you got enough, you have enough money coming in where that stuff doesn't matter to you anymore, okay? That stuff doesn't even matter to you anymore because of the, the income that you have coming in. You get what I mean? Like, it can be so easy if you just understand that money is to be used to make more money and not just buy yourself lunch. <laughs> or go out to eat, okay? Because Americans go out to eat way too much. And I was looking at a, um, I was looking at the video by by Two Cents and um, Meet Kevin, okay? They both were debating this this topic or talking about this topic about you know what I'm saying going out to eat or or buying fast food and and not. Um, and, and not saving the money or becoming broke, okay? So like I said, most Americans might, you know, might understand this, like, you know what, I need to scale back on, on going out to eat and stuff like that because it's bankruptcy. <laughs> I'm spending too much money on it, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not taking that money and investing it, investing it and um, just saving it or taking that money and spending it on other things that you honestly shouldn't be spending it on you should just be investing and buying and maybe like i said buying some websites starting your own website building some passive income if you're not doing that with your money then you know what i'm saying you're doing it all wrong man you're really you're really you're really doing a disservice to yourself okay so no so i guess the answer would be you know what i'm saying no does going out to lunch every day or buying fast food every day leave you broke no if you if, if you're taking the money and investing it correctly if you're taking the money and really doing what you need to do with it no um, it won't leave you broke because you've already invested your money now if you're not investing your money if you're not taking care of what you need to do with your money and just, you know, just eating out every day and not caring, then yes, it will leave you broke. But if you can scale back that money, you, you, you use every 
day to eat out and invest it. And then once those investments mature and start bringing you in the money, then you can do whatever you want because you have a passive income stream that's bringing you money. You don't really have to worry about much. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the goal. That's that's the number one goal right there. You know what I mean? But like like I said, man, that I think that's where everybody goes wrong. Yeah, saving money is nice and all that good stuff and not spending your money on, you know what I'm saying, frivolous things and lunches and dinners all the time is smart. But if you're not taking that money and investing it somewhere, then you you, you might as well just go out to eat every day. You might as well go out to eat every month. You might as well do it. Because you're not you're not helping yourself if you're not taking the money and investing. It's just that simple. Alright folks, thanks for watching. I know I rambled a little bit in the video, but you know what I'm saying? You get the point, man. Going out to eat will leave you broke if you don't invest it. Okay? If you don't invest the money that you know what I'm saying that you have. Or that you don't use when you go out to eat. It's just that simple. Like if you just stop going out to eat and invest it, you're good to go. There you have it. So thanks for watching. Look in the description for all my links, okay? I have the Wealth Builder System. I'll teach you how to make money online. I give you all my free ways to make money online. Apps that, that pay you to download, all that good stuff in the Wealth Builder System. Just click the link below. Check it out. Um, also, um, there's a list of books that I've, I've read or plan to read, okay? If you're looking to check those books out, there's a link in the description. There's links in the description for those. Also, uh, do remember Wealth Builders. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. Thanks for helping me grow this channel at this time. We got 3,000 strong, and hopefully, we'll be getting more within the next month or two. Really trying to end 2019 with a bang, 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 bang. All right. Okay, do remember what builders thank you all right so make more save more build more Peace. it's the wealth builders baby